The call to the post, the explosion out of the starting gate, and the beautiful spectacle of horse racing. ABC 7's Frank Matthey tells us about a Chicago area artist who's been painting scenes from that experience for more than 30 years. Apparently, it takes a very quiet studio to paint the excitement, noise, and smells of thoroughbred racing. Because that's the way it is for artist Thomas Allen Pauley of Chicago's North Side. Since the late 70s, this has been his love, painting jockeys and their horsepower. A friend of mine, his dad owned harness horses, and I was at a party, and he invited everybody out to the track, and his horse won, and I got hooked. I was 18 years old, and I went to the track ever since then. And started painting horses. Started painting horses. Paulie has no idea how many thousands of horses he has painted, but he is now recognized around the world for his paintings combining strength and elegance. He loves to capture the racetrack atmosphere. The thunder of the hoofs just coming down and the jockeys popping the horses. It's just really, really amazing f feeling. And you transfer that to canvas. And I do. He works off photographs he has taken at the track, and he takes hundreds of shots, picks out the best, and then... I blow it up, and, and then I just start sketching it, and before I know it, I have a nice painting. For the past two years, Thomas Allen Pauley has been featured in a one-man show at the Kentucky Derby. Not bad for a guy who, when not painting, spent 30 years as an AT&T telephone repairman. One of the first things you notice about Paulie's horse portraits is how real they are. They almost look like photographs. There's nothing abstract here. Very realistic, and I feel that when, when one does a painting of a racehorse, it should look like the racehorse. It should look like the jockey. You know, that's what my clients expect. Paulie, by the way, is colorblind, but despite that, he always gets his colors right and charges between five and $25,000 a painting. Frank Matthew, ABC7 News.